This is a quick video on how to access Microsoft Teams for academic advising. If you have not yet made an appointment with your academic advisor, now would be a good time to hit pause and send them a quick email to get yourself scheduled. In this tutorial, I will assume that you have already made an appointment, but you can certainly watch the video at any time to prepare. In this brief video, I'm going to go over how to download and access Microsoft Teams for free using your NIU email account and password, and where to find your scheduled appointment. I will also show you some features you'll use for your Teams meetings, and along the way, you'll get some advice on how to prepare for your meeting and how to troubleshoot any technical issues you may encounter. Before your scheduled advising appointment, you'll want to make sure you can access and download the Teams program. The easiest way to find it is by starting at the NIU homepage and selecting Office 365 from the Quick Links drop-down menu. Once selected, follow the prompts and log in with your NIU email and password. Once you are logged in to Office 365, you will see a list of various programs that are part of the Office 365 package. Select the Teams icon and proceed to log in again with your NIU email and password. You have two options for how to access Teams. You can download the program directly to your device or join Teams using the web. If you notice, Microsoft suggests that the download will offer you a better connection versus the web app. As an advisor, I think you will find Teams useful beyond just advising appointments. Using Teams, you can meet with group members, attend online events, and your faculty will use Teams to host lectures. Joining from the web is fine for accessing Teams on the go or if you are away from your home, but look to download the program when you get a chance. I also want to mention that you can access Teams from your cell phone, but we do prefer that you try to regularly connect via your PC, laptop, or tablet when possible. Congratulations! You finally accessed Teams. Now you need to find your appointment. You will see a list of tools along the left side of your screen. To find your appointment, select the calendar icon and go to the date and time of your scheduled meeting. Clicking on your scheduled appointment will provide you with the meeting details. If you've accepted your appointment, you will be able to click the Join Meeting button to enter the waiting room. If you do not have this button, it may be because you have not accepted your appointment invitation. Look under Tracking to see your status. Daisy has accepted the invitation. If you haven't, it will say no response. If that is the case, go back, accept your meeting invitation, and you will have access to join the meeting. Before you officially enter your meeting, you will be in a waiting room. While you are here, this is a good time to check your audio and video settings and make sure that you're prepared for your appointment. As a rule of thumb, we do prefer that along with audio, you turn on your camera. If you're in a situation where that is not possible or preferable to you, it's not a big deal. We just want to make sure that you are focused on your advising session and that we are providing the support you need to be successful.
To check your video settings, turn your camera on and check your surroundings, lighting, and camera angle. Be aware of your appearance and your surroundings. What are others in the meeting going to see when you connect? Make sure to have your device in a stable position to avoid a shaky screen and check your background. If needed, you can blur your background or change your background image. I'll show you how to do this later on in the presentation. For your audio settings, you can either use the microphone in your device or you can use your phone audio. When connecting via phone, you will need to either provide your number for a callback or manually dial a conference call number. If you use your phone audio, make sure to mute your computer speakers. Make sure there is no extra background noise and consider using headphones if needed. Once you have your audio and video ready, you can click Join Now to be connected to the meeting. Now that you are in the meeting, you will be able to see other attendees with their cameras on. There are some really helpful tools you now have access to for your meeting. I'd like to go through a few important ones with you briefly. We've reviewed the video and audio tools already, so let's skip ahead. The third icon is an upload feature. This allows you to share opened documents or web pages from your computer with others in the meeting. As an advisor, I often use this to review your degree audit report with you or to show you how to navigate web pages or features of my NIU. The fourth icon is the dot, dot, dot icon. Clicking on it will pop up a list of things that you can do. Show meeting details will give you all the information and any emails connected to the meeting. Show background effects is where you can select custom options for blurring or changing your background so people don't see. There are even some great NIU backgrounds you can use. The last tool you will need to be familiar with for your advising meetings is the chat box icon. When selected, a window will appear to your right where you can type and connect. This is helpful if you are having audio issues and trying to troubleshoot with the meeting organizer. An
interesting thing about the chat box is that information shared within the chat is saved. So you can go back to your calendar meeting at a future date and see the chat box information. During your meeting, you may experience some technical issues. Here are some tips and advice to help. To troubleshoot audio, first check your device and make sure that your sound is turned on and turned up. If that's not the problem, next try dialing in using your phone. And finally, if all else fails for your audio problems, try using the chat box to connect with your advisor or meeting organizer for more support. If you're experiencing video issues, try downloading the Teams program directly to your device as suggested in the beginning of this tutorial. If you've done this and continue to have video problems, don't worry. As long as we can hear you, we can advise you. Academic advisors are great at problem solving, and while we may not be great at tech support, we definitely won't let anything get in the way of connecting with you and making sure you have a successful advising session. This concludes the tutorial on accessing Teams for Academic Advising. I wish you all good luck and encourage you to reach out to your advisor today to schedule your next virtual advising session.